on today's episode of Moto Cheese. Hold on. Motor Cheese is doing a giveaway today. First comment gets this smart digital multimeter by Tesman and a key tag. So today we're reviewing this Tesman smart digital multimeter, the TM510. It's a smart meter so you don't have to do any selecting for voltage, ohms, all that. Let's see what's in the box. Comes with Duracell batteries. And did I mention this is very inexpensive? It's got a little flashlight on the back. And the leads, which I believe were one meter long, <laughs> or three feet. Yep. Bumper case. Has a backlight. Not only that, they positioned the viewing angle of the LCD so you're looking on an angle, which is nice. Continuity. If you hold it, a little flashlight comes at about a 25 page manual if you hold this button it's an NCV button NCV stands for non-contact voltage well, look at that. you can see where it's coming over that's where the wire runs. So you can follow the wire. Pretty cool. You know not to drill a hole there. I know there's something there. That's the plug. It's high. As I back off it says low. See? So that works actually really good. Now if there's a wall that you don't know if there's anything on it. That might be one of the coolest features that's on this. I like that. So not only is it an NCV button, it's a hold button. And that's your backlight and your flashlight. You'll have a low battery indicator up there when the battery gets low. If it's starting to shut down automatically, which it has a timer, you just hit this button and it'll stop the automatic shutdown. So DC voltage accuracy is 10%, AC voltage accuracy is 12%, and resistance is 12%. You know, it's, it's a basic, inexpensive meter just to have. If you want something more accurate, you get a better meter. This is just something to have in a car, in your toolbox, in your junk drawer, or in your garage. So I guess that's nice for testing if there's voltage in your wire, huh? I don't think it picks up DC. It's probably AC high and low voltage. Let's switch it back to auto. Let's see what we have in our power strip here. 122.7 volts. With this meter, you don't have to select anything. It automatically will select what you're doing. With AC volts, DC volts, ohms or resistance, continuity, and it has the no contact voltage too. Under 50 ohms, it'll ring out the continuity. Let's see what it does with the low resistance. Alright, well it says continuity, but it still reads 4 ohms, so that's fine. I know people were complaining about that. We just gotta hear the beep, that's all. So that works fine. Well, it's a nice little cheap, or should I say inexpensive meter. That non-contact voltage feature is pretty awesome. So if you want one, I put the link 
in the description below. Whoever made the first comment gets that brand new meter. If you first comment and you win, I'll put the link to my email and I'll ship out your brand new meter. Thanks for watching guys. I did open this one up, put batteries from this in there just to test it, make sure everything was functioning. Well, maybe I'll keep this one in the toolbox on my tractor. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.